everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to carry on uh, doing this uh, uh, picture from Fantasy by Ava Brown uh, as a colour and chat. So we're using the Ohuhu markers and that's what we've done so far. So it's very warm here so you can probably hear my fan in the background so I do apologise but it is very very warm. Oh dear me. So we're going to start colouring these curtains in, in uh, some colours, obviously in some colours. So it's been a while but it's okay, it's been busy. Jennifer's been playing up at bedtime so it's been very, very hard to try and uh, film in the evenings because she's been uh, refusing to go to bed at her normal time which means it puts me behind everywhere puts me behind with everything so yeah there you go so it's actually Saturday afternoon and uh, she's downstairs with her dad uh, playing with some toys he's watching the football because the Euro European football Euros have started um, it's Wales versus Switzerland so he's watching that and I'm not into football so I thought I'll come and do this now because I know later on tonight we'll be doing a quiz and that'll finish around 10 and I won't want to film then so I thought if I do it now it's done out of the way not out of the way because I enjoy doing it obviously but you know just to make it seem you know, I just wanted to get one done because it's been a while, I mean. So, yeah. I'm quite happy just to sit and chat while he's watching the football. And then when I finish this today, uh, whatever, however far we get, I'll, I'll just uh, go and colour something else or have a rest. So... First of all, how are you all before we start chatting generally about other things? Are you all okay? Hope you're all safe and well. Hope you're colouring loads if that's your bag. And if not, if you just like watching them because they help you relax, I hope you're enjoying the videos. I have been watching absolutely everybody's videos. I know Chelsea, you said about doing the TMI tag. I will do it. Um, once I finish this colouring chat, I will watch yours again, write all the questions down. There are a lot of them and see what I can answer. So I will be doing that in the next week. Also, I know she's also done the scavenger hunt one. I haven't watched that yet. I'll put that on after I finish filming, actually. And then I can... Yeah, I'll do that afterwards. So, I want to watch that. I do like watching them. I very... I, I never get tagged in anything. I guess because I don't do many buddy colours and stuff like that. Um, and like I said, I don't want to commit to doing so many buddy colours. I can't fulfil them all. I know some people do loads every month. Um, I'm currently doing one with Chelsea and I've been, I have started it and I've done a fair bit this morning sitting in the garden. It's, uh, I've just put uh, some markers down. I'll be doing some pencil work over the top because I was doing the, the skin on this person and Jennifer kept stopping me and asking me to do something for her. So she's gone a bit blotchy so I'll put some uh, skin tone over the top, some like polychromos, flesh coloured, what, what used to be called flesh. It's now a pinky colour, I don't know what they call it now, um, over the top. Uh, just so that it's it takes the blotchiness out gives it a smoother finish well i was going to do some pencil over the top anyway and some glitters and things so i'm happy with that so i'll be doing probably try and finish the marker on that later and then i can start doing the pencil and the glitter as well so i'm enjoying it it's, it's really good fun so yeah, I mean, if anybody does want to do a buddy colour, you know what books I've got, just let me know in the comments below and we can arrange that. You know, I do want to do stuff like that. So yeah, let me know. So yeah, just uh, we're going to do the flowers down here now. So I'll turn it up like this so I can get it up, up in the corner there. Oh, there's an old Coke can there. So I've got 88 and 86. Anyway, yeah, something like that. Anyway, do these flowers. So. 
I've done loads of patterns this month because I just find them so relax whoops sorry so relaxing to do that I do like to do the patterns so I just sit in bed and do some patterns and, and stuff like that and it is relaxing um, there's always going to be a load of patterns in there because I love doing patterns uh, I have finished I have got a couple of books out that I want to start colouring in and they are more in-depth stuff there's a couple of Kirby Rosanis um, images I want to start so yeah I'll be doing them soon I finished one of the whips that I wanted to do this month because there's two in the, the Johanna Basswood book Worlds of Wonder so I've actually finished one and the other one's not got that much left so I'm going to for me to oh sorry I'm not really with it today uh, so I'm going to finish the other one uh, as well this month so that'll be at least two whips off of my major whip pile um, I'm going to try and set myself a few goals it won't be many because I'm not a person who likes to be um, what's it called restricted to you must do this you must do that you must do 10 patterns you must colour in 10 new books you must colour in a, a Hannah Lynn you must colour in a Ava Brown you must colour in one of these you must colour in one I, I, I'm going to just set goals I know I can do so so for instance yes I will have one where it says please try and colour in so many uh, uncoloured books and I'll probably have that as five and um, there'll be like at least one marker one pencil one gel pen because they're the ones I do I do them anyway so they're going to be fairly easy to do what was the other one a yeah, complete one outstanding whip that's going to be every month I'm not going to have a target number of pages because some months I'll colour 20 or 30. Another time I might only colour 10. It really depends on what I'm doing. So like I say, I'm going on holiday soon. I'll have a week off. Well, actually, I'm having a fortnight off of work. We will be going away for part of that. Um, but I can't guarantee I'll colour because I always find when I'm away, although it takes off, I don't colour as much as if I'm at home because I'm doing stuff. So... I will colour because I like to colour in the evenings after we've had dinner and Jennifer's in bed asleep. I like to sit and colour for a bit and watch TV or listen to some music. So I'm planning on taking uh, a set of markers, a set of gel pens and a set of pencils and a couple of books. It won't be a huge amount of books but it might be something like one of the Kirby's I might take and probably would take three books, one pattern book, a Kirby book and then something like an Ava Brown book or a Jade Summer something like that I haven't decided yet so Jade Summer got a new book out it's very simple it's colouring for beginners it's very 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 simple I don't know what's happening with them this year because I think yes I know they're working with new artists but they just don't seem to be putting anything out so and what they have put out people saying oh you've done this sort of stuff before it's very simple we want proper stuff and I, I I just don't know whereas Ava Brown are continuing to put out absolutely fantastic books so which I'm quite happy with because I love them uh, that was 88.89 we want some greens oh I'll have that 159 I don't find it and we want to say hmm 47 So yeah, I mean, it's all about trying to just get what I can done while I'm on holiday. But yeah, so Jade Summer, is, it's, it's been very, very weird lately that they haven't put much out. And Ava Brown are putting out loads. I don't know if Ava Brown have poached all their artists or something. Most likely not. So I don't want to maybe get into trouble for saying something like that. But, uh, I mean, this is one of their older books and I really, really like this one. Um, you got uh, plenty of time to to see. I mean, we're only on on June, and they've only put out three books this year. In a way, that's great because it means they're not putting out so many that you can't keep up with. Which I found in the past is what's been happening. You want them all, but you can't afford them because they're putting them out weekly. 
and you do want other artists as well and but I do like them so but yeah so I know Ava Brown are putting out two this weekend and <clears throat> they're putting out a tattoos book and <clears throat> luxury interiors or no exteriors so there's like swimming pools and stuff like that and I'm looking forward to seeing those because they're quite nice I, I don't know if they've been released yet, so I haven't seen them on Facebook, so I'll have to wait and see what happens. But I hope they, they, they do come out, because it's quite nice to, to see them. And if I get them as part of the launch team, great. If I don't, it's a shame, but I probably will buy them. Like I said, I'm trying to get collect the Ava Brown books, as well as the Jade Summer. But uh, to see now, news from work is we get an, another bonus, um, but we don't know whether it's going to be in cash or in um, in our salary or as vouchers. So, but don't expect to see another hundred pound. Um, oh. God, what is it? Uh, 67, I think, and I'm just looking for some colours now. Oh, 57 and 67, I think. We'd be having all sorts of another bonus, like I said, another bonus, but I don't know if it's going to be in cash or vouchers. Whatever it is, I'm very happy to have it. Um, I'm going to try not to spend it all at once. I mean, there's nothing I need at the moment. It's tempting to buy a new set of, say, Prismas, because my I could use some colours replacing. But I'm also thinking, hmm, I don't really want to buy that either. I could spend it all on colouring books, but I don't really want to do that because I've got so many, I've got nowhere to put the ones I've got. You know, I'm running out of space. And uh, I could put them up, put the money away and get another set of the oh hoo -hoos. Um, it's possible that if it's a voucher I might keep it until we get to Black Friday and see what's on there and just buy loads of stuff on Black Friday if there's some good uh, colouring supplies on. Um, and if there is I can, can get them then, you know, so. But I, I obviously I don't know what's happening. With all this stuff and I do want to try and get through the books I've actually got rather than just adding new ones even though there's loads I want. I mean obviously I've got a couple on pre-order. One is, um, oh gosh it's Creative Haven Fashions of the 80s I think it is and the other one is the new Alan Roberts one which is out, I think it's out in August and that is creature feature so of course it's all Hollywood stars and famous people as ghosts and ghouls which and, and zombies which I I, mean, I know there's a Marilyn on the cover so I really want that because that's my kind of thing even though I, I mean I'm not big into Marilyn as a <clears throat> day of the dead figure or anything like that but I quite like the Alan Roberts and they did the creature feature one didn't they and this one is no it's not creature feature creature feature that is a celebrities I can't remember what it's called actually I'll have to have a look, but it's the newest one, it's not out yet, so, but I like the look of that one, with all the famous dead stars, naughty really, because, you know, I'm supposed to be, I'm 
I am a huge Marilyn fan, but I just like the idea of it. It just seems so cute. Naughty of me, I know. But, oh, I've missed a bit there. I'll get blue out again in a minute. Yeah, so it's really nice. I, I like the Alan Roberts books. I think they're just so funny. I love them. Um, just putting random colours on now, so it doesn't matter, does it? I mean, the idea is that it is a picture, and I like my picture. So. Violet background, so I need a see, 83 is what I need. 83. So I'll put this in here. No, that's not right. 83. Mm, here it is. It's fine. A few things I would like, but I don't know. Like I said, it's very hot up here at the moment in the UK. I'm not very good at hot. I mean, it's not hot like Egypt or anything like that, but it's hot for the UK, and I'm I'm not good in the heat. I I hate the heat. I'm not gonna lie, I hate it. I really hate being hot and sweaty. I don't mind it being warm. It's when it's humid like it is at the moment. It makes me ill. It gives me a very bad headache and. Uh, Plays up with havoc with my asthma, and then I break out in if I'm out in the sun and I'm not careful enough, I break out in polymorphic light sensitive skin. So I break out in a rash. Number 73. Pastel violet, yeah, we use that for those and this. So yeah, it's it's really hard because I break out in this rash that's very very itchy, and it is it's killing me. I mean it's not too bad now because I've got sun lotion on because I have actually been outside in the garden today. I think we might be able to finish this one actually because we've only got a little bits to do now, and most of it's going to be with the glitters. There we go. I think the rest of it's going to be gel pen now. Let's just do these up and write them down. Now I know that they say not to store your pens like this, like this, um, because um, the ink will run all the way to one end. But if that happens, there is a way to resolve it and you just turn the pen over and it will run back through. And then when you think it's fine, just put it flat. I had a pen that came dry not one of these, I'll be honest, not one of these um, that I bought. And they were only cheap pens, so it didn't bother me. Um, and they were like pastel colours, and it was just from what? And they were like 87 or 97 pence for like eight pens. And they came, and the purple or the lilac was dry, and I was gutted because I really wanted to use it. So I thought, I'm not going to throw it out. What I'll do is I'll stand it upside down in a pot and see if there is any ink in it, and it runs down. And it did. It really did. It ran right down. There was no issues with it. It works fine now. So I can actually use it. So I'm just putting away the pens I don't need from here, which is my mostly these neon ones, the luminous pens. That's a that's a glaze. Where's the other glaze? There it is. Where's the other glaze? I don't need those though. Okay, so we want some glitter and metallic, so that's the metallic, we'll use that one first. So we, yeah, it's just, to me it's just weird that 
I don't know, I get so much, many bits and pieces. Wherever I see pens, I pick them up if I can. Um, like if Lidl's get them in, because Lidl's actually get some really good stuff in. Um, I really like it, so I, I like using Lidl stuff. They, they've always got some nice stuff in, and it's always fun buying new products and trying them. And, and it is, you do get to the point where you think, oh god, I've got so many. I mean, I bought more pencils this month, and you'll see them in my haul. I'm not doing a first impressions of them. They are just something I thought, I'm going to buy, they're cheap. I will let you know what I think of them. I have only just started swatching them. And I bought some Chromatech gel, glitter gel pens, because I saw them on Chelsea's channel. I thought they looked nice. And I've swatched them because you do get 50, I bought the 50 set, and you do get in the pack a free, you get a set of, um, oh God, what are they called? Uh, refills. Oh, I'm so thick today. So you get a set of refills, and that's fine. So. I got a set of refills, so I've swatched them, and I know I'm likely to, to buy them again. The swatchy colours, they are absolutely gorgeous, I'm not going to lie. They are absolutely beautiful. Let's do up here. Let me just put a bit on there. I'll come over here now. They are absolutely, absolutely stunning pens. I really love them. So, a bit of silver there. There. I still got all her jewelry to do. You know, like sometimes you're like, I don't really feel like this. I thought I don't feel like, yeah, that'll do. It's a red one. Doing it, I do. It's just, it's this fiddly bit, so just a bit, ugh. Uh, that's fine, put one in there. That one in there. I'm not sure whether that's part of her jewelry or part of her skin. It might be part of her skin actually, in which case that would be part of the background, but no, it's not. Uh, so yeah, it's been an interesting week. Like I said, just finding out that bonus on Friday was like, I was gobsmacked because I wasn't expecting it. You know, didn't even know they were, you know, that they were discussing it. So to find out how that that's happening, you know, you could say, well, I'll, I'll save it, but you don't know how it's going to come. Because if, if it comes as a, sorry, I'm not moving the book around for you to see. If it comes as a voucher, you're going to spend it, you've got to spend it on something. If it comes in your salary, it's taxed, which is fine. Um, but we'll have to see what happens. I don't care which way it comes. I'm just grateful to get get it. It certainly gives you an incentive to work hard when they do this for us. So I've got to be honest, they're a great company. So, yep. <coughs> Excuse me, just have a little cough. It's a nice, it's a nice picture. Oops, that's the uh, edge of the page. I, I like this book. I really do. I think it's lovely. I've got loads getting. I've got a few of the Eva Browns now. So, yeah. I've used up so many gel pens. I've got a stack of them on the top here. I don't know if everybody likes to show their pens off, and I don't normally do that, but I thought this time I'm going to because I've used up so many. So many gel pens. I don't tend to use up a lot of markers, yet I do a lot of marker work, so I guess because I sort of spread them around. And Okay, what am I looking for? Right, we're going to put some sparkle here. Put a bit on, on there as well. Mm -hmm. I've got 
little itch. Sounds like Jennifer's playing with her musical instruments, which is so cool. She has got loads of musical instruments. She's got like a triangle, um, a, a bathroom, tambourine, leg shakers, shaker things, um, glockenspiel or xylophone. And uh, she loves playing with it. She really loves playing with it. And it's so nice to hear. So, you know, we're bashing it. She loves the glockenspiel. I think she's playing that at the moment. I'm trying to get a spit here. I'm going to put a bit here just to gold it up a bit, sparkle it up a bit. green up here on this thing. I have no idea what this is but um, I'll do that there and there and there and we'll have ooh, this no, that's green um, that's, uh, oh this colour around here it's quite funny doing things like this because it's you're constantly colouring and you just feel like you're not going anywhere sometimes especially with some of your bigger pictures like the curvy rosannas I, I find that I have to do them a little bit at a time if I don't I get very sort of stressed let's put a bit more on there that's what I wanted there we go that's better have this pink here, put pink around there. Just trying to use different colours to make it look more interesting. Of course, you don't have to, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, and that's what I like about colouring it doesn't matter because it is your picture to do what you want with. Um, around here. So this is the metallic rather than the glitter. So we will finish this one off and I think the video will be a little bit over 30 minutes, maybe a bit more. So we're heading towards the 30 minute mark now. Still a few bits to do. Um, yeah. So I know you can hear the fan and, and that. I hope it's not too bad. Um, for you, uh, the noise, I mean, I hope it's not too noisy. Miss this star. Oh dear. I know, it's terrible sometimes you think I've missed this bit. But... So there we are, I'll start bit see what we've got left. We've got some I'm wheezing a little bit, so I do apologise if that uh, is bothering you. I just can't help it. It's just very wheezy. Um, it's this weather. I'll get some inhaler in a minute. We'll have a rest. Get this uh, video edited together. We've hit 30 minutes, so let's carry on. So it's 30 minutes, just doing these little 
things here. I don't know what they are, we're going to do them blue. And there's one up here. We're nearly finished now, there's only a few more little bits to do and then we'll have a look at it. Okay. Let's get a light blue sparkle. Oh, I've got itch. It's a problem with this polymorphic light sensitivity. You flipping itch like there's no tomorrow. It is horrific sometimes. It's seriously, it's horrible. Come out in a big rash, and it's all. I got loads of red spots on me at the moment from it on my left. My right arm's worse than my left arm for some reason. I don't know why. Um, this one. I don't normally put these on, but they are on there, so I'm just going to go around it like that. Just make it look a little bit there. It's all right, actually. Right. I'm just going to use the metallic green on the feathers because I want green feathers. Um, I might actually use the Kirby Rosanna's picture, one of the one two I've got as my TMI tag picture as well. So I might do, I'm thinking of it. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna do. So there we go. So let's zoom out and have a look. So here we are, this is the page we have done from Fantasy by Ava Brown. I actually really quite like it. I hope you've enjoyed this colouring chat and I'll see you in the next one which will be the TMI uh, video tag and we'll be doing a youth picture from Mythmorphia by Kirby Rosanis. And I'll see you very soon. Bye everybody.